how to update the PHP version on WordPress. Let's do this. Hey, it's Ozzy here from the callmehoz.com where I talk about the tools that I'm using to generate income online as a solopreneur. And in this channel, I share tutorials as well as all the great tools that I keep finding. So if this is helpful to you in any way, please subscribe and I'll keep you posted. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily update the PHP version on your WordPress website. Okay, so here I am on this website and for all intents and purposes, the website looks fine. But if we go to the dashboard, you'll see the nagging notice for the PHP update. So this is the way that most people find out that the PHP version is out of date. Another way is that your host may actually email you to let you know that your PHP version is out of date when they update the PHP on their servers. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to log into the host itself. That is where your website is hosted. So hopefully you have cPanel and that's what we're looking at here. Okay, so in my cPanel, I'm going to type in PHP and here go to select PHP version. Now this is going to show me the current PHP version and here it is. You can see that it's seven and you can see down here all the things that this includes. Okay, so if you don't understand any of this, that's fine. You just need to be able to click on this and select a higher version. Now, one thing to note is that changing PHP versions may break your WordPress website. It depends really on the plugins that you have. Some plugins, especially older plugins, may rely or may only work on a certain version of PHP and may not have been updated to work with the current version of PHP, okay? So what I suggest you do is you first go to the highest version of PHP, which in this case is 7.4. I'm gonna do that. And then here, I'm gonna click on set as current. Now what I'm going to do is go back to the website and refresh. And if it hasn't broken it, then you'll notice that the PHP nagging notice has now gone. If I just check the website on the browser and make sure that it's working properly, we can see that it's worked just fine. Okay, if the PHP switch actually breaks your WordPress site, the first thing to do is don't panic. And the second thing to do is come back here to the PHP selector and choose a older version. So in this case, I would choose 7.3, set that, go back to the website and see if it loads. If it doesn't, then come back here, go up to an older version, 7.2 and so on until the website is up and running. And then I would find out what it is that's breaking the website, because ideally you want to be on the latest version of PHP because earlier versions usually have exploits, which means that you could get hacked or your server could get hacked. So for security purposes and also performance purposes, you want to be on the latest version of PHP. And if one or more of your plugins doesn't play with that version, I would maybe look at switching plugins uh, or finding an alternative. Okay, so that's how you update PHP on your WordPress website. Now, while you're here, remember to subscribe and that way you always stay up to date with all these cool tutorials. But in the meantime, take it easy and I shall see you in the next video.